Okay, so at the time of recording, the Nightfall tomorrow at reset should be the Light Blade, unless Bungie borks it for some reason. Uh, but if it's on schedule, like, like the message said in game, I want to make this video because it's going to help a lot of people beat the Light Blade, whether it's for their Conqueror or maybe they want to farm the weapon. If it's Comedian, yeah, good luck with that. So I want to do something a little different here. Instead of just showing you background footage, I'm actually going to play the video while I'm talking to explain how the boss fight works and what I'm doing to manipulate the AI, basically. Uh, just tell you real time instead of like trying to script it over. You know, it's just, it'd be much easier this way. So here we go. I'm just going to put this video on screen right here. I'm going to mute it so you don't hear like us talking and stuff. So essentially... Um, you can kite or, or bait the boss, whatever you want to call it, in this uh, fight. You can do this with or without invis. Invis is not mandatory. Nothing is mandatory with this strat. Uh, it's like, I would say, a 95% success rate. The reason I just say 95 is because uh, it's just it's just Destiny. Like, anybody who's played Destiny for a prolonged amount of time will know that nothing can go like 100% success rate in this game. Something always goes wrong. Something can bug out. The AI just just borks, and you know, uh, one second he's next to you, the next second he's in Uganda, and stuff like that. So I will say it's extremely, extremely, extremely consistent. But there is an occasional time where something will go wrong, or the game bugs out, something like that. I'm sure everyone's experienced that in GMs literally every season. So here we go. First off, when we start the boss fight, we drop down. We split up. You never want to be together in this boss room ever, 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 ever. Never be all stacked up in one spot. So I'm going to pause it right here. So we had uh, Clyde and the person we were helping to complete this nightfall. We had them go right. They separated from me because I am the primary target for the boss and the primary target for when the Hive Guardian spawns a little bit later. The idea here is that the Thrall will chase somebody. So I think they end up chasing me here. I just simply kill them as they come up this balcony right here. You just chuck a nade or use your primary or whatever you want to do. So the boss is aggroing on them right now and they just run as you should every time he's aggroing you upstairs. And then I'm just killing Thrall to get them out of the way. But once you kill all the little trash mobs, then you can focus on the boss. So as soon as all these Thrall die and then somebody communicates like, hey, all the Thrall are dead, I'm going to go after the boss. I'm going to aggro him. I'm going to get his attention right here and then... I'm going to be literally toying with him right here. So the strat here is his AI follows you to whatever floor you're on. If you're on a separate floor from him, then he's going to chase you. And notice how he's not doing his little darkness blast nonsense. So like if I'm upstairs... Okay, so let me pause right there. So as I mentioned, occasionally the AI will just do whatever the hell they want. And if somebody's shooting him, he may temporarily de-aggro from me in this case. And try to shoot somebody else but when he's aggro on me like one-on-one -on -one, when he's staring at me and i'm staring at him he doesn't do that shit like like i said 95 percent of the time so as i was saying basically if i'm at a higher level than him he's going to try to jump at me if i'm at a lower level than him he's going to try to jump down to me and then i use this to my advantage to manipulate where he walks and as he keeps jumping over and over and over and over and over he can't do his darkness blast and he can't hit me except like right there where his AI just doesn't give a damn but luckily I'm upstairs so it doesn't hit me so I use this to my advantage and then while I'm doing this my teammates can freely either shoot the boss or you can just walk around and kill ads if there's like you know curse thrall around or maybe you want to uh, pick up some orbs to get your super back stuff like that and then this just helps you eliminate all the random variables in the boss fight you know like you when you want to da damage the boss you want to have the entire room clear so you want to have it under control this helps you a lot for add control to breathe a little to stand in one spot without the boss nuking you into oblivion with splash damage or chasing you stuff like that so now we're just toying with him until he reaches his uh his first bar and then that's when the next like big wave spawns so let me try to skip a little bit here this is a, essentially the entire thing uh, until his bar reaches. Like I mentioned, if he's upstairs, you go down. If he comes down, you go to mid. If he goes to mid, you go up to this ledge balcony area. By the way, I just want to mention, you don't want to keep jumping um, like from center where the thrall are to here over and over and over and over because sometimes he'll read it as you're on the same level and then he might try to blast you. That's the reason why 
you always see me go up then down then middle then up then down then middle that way he keeps jumping and he never has line of sight on me and i try to not have line of sight on him unless he's already jumping at me so typically i don't try to shoot until he's jumping at me or he just jumped down and i'm already upstairs and i can just take a shot at his head so like right now he's under me so i know i can't do anything i'm not gonna peek he jumps then i jump down once again he has no light of sight on me i kill a crystal other just for the meme now he's gonna try to jump down eventually here and then i leave there you go he jumps at me i go down okay sorry no he went down so i stayed up he comes up i go down you you get the idea now in case you were wondering what the hell i do for when the hive guardian spawns i'll show you so what i like to do is i like to kite him over to the opposite area right here so i'm standing on this platform i like to be on the opposite end of this the reason for that is the hive guardian will spawn face to face to me and it allows me to start dpsing him right away and also it allows my teammates to either freeze the uh hive knights or maybe throw a rocket at the hive guardian to damage him stuff like that so i'm just gonna skip ahead a little bit here as we get him lower and lower this probably was a glitch death as i mentioned probably through the floor yep this this is what i mean by there's a five percent chance of the game just being fu Th this is the perfect example as you can see I'm up and he's down, but the game doesn't care. Anyway, moving on. So eventually I'm going to get him over to the here. Okay, so here we go. So this is perfect. So he's about to go middle. We just damaged him. And what's going to happen is the Hive Guardian spawns, like I mentioned, face to face to me. And I throw a weakened nade because they spawn there. So right here, the idea is you immediately take the Hive Guardian out of the equation. You nuke the ever living F out of him. And that way, you deal with that, you get the finishers, you get your ammo, and the only things that are left on the board is just two sword bearer knights that you can easily kite around the arena until you have your super back, until you get all your ammo, etc, etc. So right here, I'm trying to put on damage as much as I can. He's going to chase me, because he saw me as aggro face to face. Somebody threw a rocket at him, you know, team shot. Bam, he's dead. Bam, his ghost is dead. And now, literally, the only things on the board will be the Sword Bearer Knights. So what you want to do here is just kill one Sword Bearer Knight and leave one up until you're ready and you're in position for everything. So one of us is going to kill a Knight. It looks like I'm the one that kills one. And then we leave one alone until everybody gets, you know, gets their stuff together. So let me just skip around to that. So what I like to do here, per you can do this too if you want or just ignore it, but... Um, as we killed the Sword Bearer Knight, I try to prep myself in the event that the Knights spawn near me. So what I do here is I just jump in this little ceiling, and the boss can't see me from here, so he won't aggro me when he, uh, respawns, reactivates, whatever. And if a champ spawns near me, they're gonna get blasted into oblivion. So let's, uh, let's see what happens, shall we? Oh, look at that, a champion. Well, uh, time to send you to the Shadow Realm. And, uh, yep, you are effed. One champ down, bam, good to go. Now, your teammates should call out where the other champs are so you can help them or avoid the boss, whichever it may be. So, the boss is not on me right now. Uh, the champ's over here. I try to 1v1 the champ. Luckily, uh, my teammate shows up and freezes him. And I believe we kill the champion here. No, I actually run, and then I try to stun the champion from the middle again. And at this point, if possible, uh, I try to get the boss's aggro him to come down and start chasing me so that my teammates would be able to get a res and then they'd be able to kill the knight but luckily i killed the knight there and as soon as the knight is dead i immediately go back to my job after i res this guy right here and i'm going to try to just bait the boss over and over and you can keep doing this every single phase and the boss will just follow you like a lost puppy the entire time or your next like big wave will be at uh at 50 percent other than that you just keep shooting this guy in the skull so that's basically the boss fight. You just repeat the same process over and over. You know, Hive Guardians, Knights, uh, Champs, Hive Guardians, and uh, Champs, and then you're done. I try to do the same thing here for when he's down to his last third. Uh, the Hive Guardian spawns. I immediately try to damage him as, as much as humanly possible, and then hopefully my teammates shoot him to the point where I can finish him. Then I'll go after him. Uh, also, notice how the boss is actually nowhere near where he's supposed to... <laughs> <laughs> he's in the corner right there yep yeah the fight definitely is not glitchy guys absolutely flawless so i kill the hive guardian i i get ammo and then we do the same thing we kill one of these high sword bearer knights 
and then kite the other one, collect orbs, kill the thrall, the boss won't move the entire time, and then as you finish all of that, you just kill the last knight, and then rinse repeat. And the final thing at this point will be uh, where knights spawn when he's like 75% left of his final bar. And then once you kill those two champions, you're pretty much done. W once they're dead, you just repeat kiting until Jabroni XLR dies, and then uh, you beat the GM. So that's it. Like I mentioned, it's extremely consistent. Obviously, it's not flawless. Sometimes you can die to dumb nonsense that is not your fault. You know, dying through the floor where he slams you from bottom mid to top mid, you know, stuff like that. That's going to happen. That's not in your control. But other than that, you can control, like, the normal parts of the fight where he follows you like this nonstop. And then eventually your team kills him or you kill him and he's dead. Plat rewards. Get your GM done. And that's it. So hopefully this helps you guys get your Conqueror done. Or if you're farming the weapon for the Nightfall, whatever it may be. Again, hopefully. <laughs> I kind of want it to be Comedian because I don't want to farm Hothead here. I actually want a Hothead. So hopefully it's Comedian. But if it's not, you know, uh, it is what it is. And go farm that weapon slash steel. And enjoy. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Also, like, share, subscribe. It does around the channel, okay? Hit that sub button. Hit that bell. Notifications. I'm done talking now. Goodbye.